So we do have estimates of how many encounters there are at the border on a daily basis. We have processes and procedures in place to identify those individuals, to process them in an orderly fashion, and then to do what is appropriate based on that processing. And we have believed that that system uh, is a system that does an effective job of being able to determine who is coming across the border and what the right way to deal with their case is. Mm. Well, sounds like they're doing a great job. I don't know what everyone's so concerned about. Joining me now, my friend Mark Krikorian, Executive Director of the Center for Immigration Studies. Mark, I'm looking at some paper here, an average of 2,400 plus migrant encounters over a three-day span in El Paso. Man, that doesn't sound like it's being very effective to me, but you're the expert. I'm not. Mark, could you elaborate, please? Depends what you mean by effective. Uh, effective for them, as you could sort of, if you read between the lines of that statement you just played, what they're saying is, are they successfully processing people? That's the term they're using, not deterring illegal immigration, not protecting the border, processing people, which is to say they take their picture, whatever it is, uh, they may hold on to them for a day or so, and then they let them go. That is success for these folks. That's how they define success. So, you know, he's not lying. Uh, that's what they want. The question is, is that what we should, act, is that the policy we should actually have? And the answer is obviously no. The answer is obviously no. And I, I have another question, and I know it's a stupid question, Mark, but I'm stupid, so I do that. That doesn't sound legal. It, it, it can't possibly be legal for the President of the United States of America and his staff to intentionally open up the border. That This can't be legal, right? No, it's not. The uh, immigration law mandates that anyone caught illegally crossing the border has to be kept in detention during the entire course of our deciding what to do with them. Either you return them or they have an asylum hearing or what have you, and then they're let go into the United States. Just mass releases into the United States is not permitted. What the tool they're using is something called parole, which is different from the criminal justice parole. What it means is it's an authority, a very narrow authority that the executive has to let in people who don't have any right to come in. That's the kind of thing you use for somebody, say their appendix burst, and you got to get them to the hospital and the closest one is five minutes away across the border, something like that. You can use parole. This administration is not using it on a one by one basis. It's using it in a mass sense to let in hundreds of thousands of people. That's clearly a violation of law. And yet Congress, uh, you know, isn't interested in doing anything about it because the Democrats in Congress support this. Mark. <sighs> Can you explain the reason why there's all of a sudden a surge in El Paso? The border's just so far away from most Americans. They don't understand the different re uh, regions. They don't understand the different reasons why there are these migrant surges. What's going on? Uh, I actually don't know specifically why El Paso now, because these things do shift around. It depends on what the, uh, which part of the border, which cartel controls which part of the border. Sometimes. Uh, every part of the Mexican side of the border is controlled by one or another cartel. And sometimes some of the cartels will say, okay, we don't, we're not collecting a tax for coming through our turf. You guys can just, as long as you, you know, make your way out, you can do it. And so people will start going there because it's cheaper. Um, there's all kinds of uh, dynamics here. And I actually don't know why El Paso specifically now, but you know, it could be San Diego tomorrow. South Texas has always been the big place over the past couple of years because it's closest to Central America. You have to go the shortest distance. Um, but, you know, in a sense, it doesn't matter which particular place they're coming across doesn't matter because this administration is basically letting people go wherever they cross. So this is kind of like well, you know, the wind blows this direction instead of that direction. It doesn't really matter that much. The basic truth here is that this administration is inviting mass illegal immigration. Don't miss Jesse Kelly Breaks History. Che Guevara, the latest episode of a new series available now exclusively for First TV supporters. Visit the First TV app or thefirsttv.com to subscribe and start watching today.